My gosh, guys, look at the size of that mangrove snake. Look at that thing's head. Hey, good morning, everybody. I hope the start to your day has been amazing. This morning, I have to head to a studio to hook up with my buddy that does photography because I have a photo shoot with a bunch of really cool animals. It's for a project that I'm really excited about. For this shoot, I'm gonna take Daisy, I'm gonna take Speedy, RJ, a blue tongue skink, and a ball python. <laughs> You're gonna get going, bud. wondering what this photo shoot is for and it's actually for okay we are at my destination uh, I'll be honest with you the whole way here RJ was thrashing around I thought for sure we're gonna have another situation like with the monitor escaping out of my back of my car but RJ stayed in his box so uh, let's see what's going on here hey hey <laughs> what's going on guys Ooh, look at this place. What's up, dude? Long time no see, man. How you been, man? Not bad, how are you? What's, What's up, up, brother? Good to see All you, right, man. Good to see you, man. Thank you so much for doing this, man. This is awesome. This is great, though, huh? So again, we are in this awesome studio that has this kind of affinity wall over here so that we can take pictures that are completely seamless. And my buddy Aaron, who you guys have seen before in the alligator vlog that I did back at Critchlow's. They're always stronger than they look. <laughs> uh, he's an amazing photographer, one of the most sought after guys in Detroit, and he's gonna take some awesome pictures. And we're gonna use these pictures for something that I'll eventually tell you what it's about, but not today. Gonna get started with the first photos with the super pastel ball python. Figure we'll start out with something small and easy so that we can get everything dialed in before we pull out Daisy or RJ. A little photo time with my guy Speedy here. He's so photogenic. So Daisy did great. She really cooperated. She didn't, she was, she's definitely heavy and she gives you a little bit of a workout, but she really cooperated well. So uh, I think we're about wrapped up for the photo shoot. Uh, heading back to the shop to drop the animals off and then I'm gonna head to the airport. Just gotta put my boy away and then we are all set. Come on, RJ. Right. There you go, bud. I know, you're like, let me go back in my pool, please. There you go, bud. There you go, bud. All right. All right, everything's put away. I think the photo shoot went really well. Now I'm off to the airport. Before I head to the airport, guys, you know, I just wanted to tell you, I have a Instagram and a Twitter account, of course, and it's Snake Bites TV, B-Y-T-E-S. And right now, down in the comments, go ahead and tell me that you followed me, and I'm gonna go on my Twitter, and I'm gonna start following a bunch of you guys back. I'll do the same with Instagram. So for the next maybe half hour or so, I'll follow everyone back, and then later on in the day, I'll go back and follow some other things, and you can just follow along with my daily life. You know, again, Twitter, Instagram, Snake Bites TV. Go ahead and hit that follow button. Jesus, is this truck big enough? What the heck? I need a ladder to get in this thing. Ben, what the hell did you buy, man? I gotta take a running jump. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. It's a big boy truck. Is this to uh, compensate for other things? So we are off to the airport to pick up a really cool snake. And 
It's a type of snake that you can only ship to the airport because you can't ship that next to your door. I'll explain more later. <laughs> So in all the years that I've been shipping reptiles and receiving reptiles, I have never gotten a reptile, a venomous reptile, in a toolbox like this before. <laughs> but uh, it's a pretty good idea, really. I mean, it's certainly secure. And uh, I don't know if it's regulations or not, but it made it here and they got here. So uh, back to the shop and we'll show you what we got. Okay, so I have no idea what to expect. Uh, I don't even really know what's in here 100%. I have an idea of what's in here, but uh, Ben and Lorenzo actually bought this snake. Or there's two snakes? Two snakes. So there's two snakes. I, I'm pretty sure I know what they are, but I don't know what to expect. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's in here. Watch, we just, we open up and it just, they just pop out. It's like one of those. Box. Okay, we got a couple bags. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, there's a second bag. Look at you got a bag inside of a bag. <laughs> I guess theoretically, again, these are, they, they're considered venomous, but to be honest with you, they're not very, very venomous. But I guess this is, it's really a good protocol. That way, nothing can bite through. If they, you know, cause sometimes snakes, venomous snakes in particular, not so much these guys, can bite through bags. So if you have two bags, uh, you're much less likely to get bit through the bag. Oh, look at how pretty this thing is. Holy moly. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh. Take a look at that, guys. This is actually a mangrove snake, but this is a black and white one. That is one pretty snake right there. Wow, that thing is crazy cool. So again, typically mangroves will be black and yellow. And look at that tongue action right there. He's definitely tasting the air. Wow, look at that thing right there. These are super cool, man. I love it. Man, that thing is awesome, huh? Yeah, it's awesome. I'm I mean, excited. is that thing cool? Look inside here. Whoo! Look at that size of that head. Do you see like I see? Oh, you can't really see it. Oh my gosh. That is a good snake right there. All right, we got we got to take this thing out. <laughs> yeah. This thing is awesome. Okay, so obviously this is another mangrove snake. You guys know that we work with some mangroves. This is a big female that's been a long-term captive. So with any luck, we can put her in with some of these males that are really ready to go and uh, see what happens. But this is this thing is absolute. Take a look at this thing. Whoo, doggy! That's a big mangrove right there. Look at this sucker. Woo! My gosh, guys, look at the size of that mangrove snake. Look at that thing's head. Woo! Wow. <laughs> that thing is awesome. <laughs> Take a look at it. Oh my gosh, that's just amazing. That's definitely one of the biggest mangroves I think I've ever seen. And look at how beautiful that thing is. Woo! Oh my gosh, if this thing produces eggs, I will be flipping out. I mean, I tell you, mangrove snakes are really cool. And, and by the way, guys, I mean, obviously, you know, I'm keeping an, an eye on what it's doing, but uh, it is a, a mildly venomous snake. This isn't like something that's gonna kill you or something like that. And people have different reactions to it. Sometimes people will react and swell up and get a little bit of sickness. Other times, they don't have that big of a reaction whatsoever. I've never been bitten by one of these guys, but they do have rear fangs, so they're not a front fang a lapid that's gonna inject venom. They actually have rear fangs that are kind of grooved, and then they just have a little bit of advanced saliva glands, so that they're, you know, there's saliva is a little bit toxic uh, and again everyone reacts differently I'm ever wanting to get bit by one to see what it's gonna react to me but uh, at the same time it's not like I'm handling a venomous snake that's gonna kill me or something like that because I certainly wouldn't do that but uh, that is one gorgeous snake Whew. good job guys that's, that's a good one Today was definitely an eventful day. We got to take a bunch of really cool pictures of a project I'm excited about that I will share with you soon. And we got some cool new snakes. Went to the airport. It's not often that you go to the airport and pick up snakes, especially in a toolbox, but they turned out to be really incredible animals. Go ahead down below, let me know what you think about those snakes. I think they're absolutely incredible. While you're at it, do me a favor, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading videos. I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. I promise 
that I'll see you guys tomorrow. And while you're at it, make sure you be kind to somebody. Yeah.